Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Cash, and I'm definitely glad to be here. This is probably one of the best days that I've had in a really long time, and I'm going to explain why here in just a few moments. So make sure you stick around to hear pretty much my life update of what's been happening over the last few weeks. Technically, I could even say months, but um, I don't really have a definitive timeline on this. It's just I lived it. I went through it, and I'm here to tell you about it. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out some of the other content that I've posted on the page. Man, there's so much stuff about like fitness, exercise, health, wellness, life advice, life tips, um, just all this good stuff. And at the end of the day, I prefer sharing long format content with you guys because I feel like it allows the character to have more depth. Basically saying, I'm trying to let you guys get to know me for who I am as an individual. So. Uh, if you really resonate with me, you know what I'm saying, we can grow this over the years and I'm just really looking forward to that journey. Okay, so technically I said it's only one life update. I may mention the other life update. I don't know because I wanna have that in a separate YouTube video, but there might be spoilers at the end, so we'll see. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yo, literally the last The last 60 days, I can say, like I've been dealing with some type of illness. It's been so crazy and hard on my body. And unfortunately, I'm like the type of person that if I'm not in severe pain, I'm just going to push through this. I think maybe this started on the back end of New Year's going into January where I was having like flu like symptoms or maybe even uh, COVID-like symptoms. And I was just taking all this, you know, holistic stuff. I was taking prescribed medicine and really nothing was getting rid of the symptoms that I was having. I mean, it was like excessive mucus, no coughing, but body aches, um, extremely fatigued. And um, the medication I was taking really calm down the symptoms that I was having where I could still function and work properly. So I was like, it's not that serious. I can still get up and move around and be okay. It's just, I'm under the weather. I was like, I'm gonna give it two weeks, two to three weeks, I'll be fine. Two to three weeks passes and I'm like, hmm, still not feeling a hundred percent. But by this time, like my muscle endurance or like muscle fatigue is like withering away extremely fast, which is so crazy because me, I'm an active person. I like to lift weights. I like to go running, um, swimming, all of these cardiovascular activities that require stamina. Um, so I'm like, I don't have that same type of output. So I'm like, okay, I'm still sick. Let me just wait like another week or two. Um, keep flushing my body, try to keep my immune system. I was taking vitamin C shots, like all this, all these things to try to keep my body pretty much in its most optimal state. Um, lymphatic drainage massages and like all this stuff. I'm like, I can do this. My body's still not responding. And one day at the company that I work at, we provide injections. And before we can give an injection to someone, uh, we have to check the blood pressure. So my friend Audrey is like checking my blood pressure and she's like, yo, dude, like your blood pressure is elevated. And I was like, maybe I'm just stressed because, you know, stress is always an underlying factor. Um, and I didn't, I didn't really think much about it besides like, hmm, maybe my body's trying to fight something off. And so I was like, since that happened, I was like, you know what? High blood pressure is not good. Um, it happens to be something in my family. So I was like, I'm gonna go to the doctor and get checked out. I'm gonna go get tested for all this like different stuff. So I got tested for COVID, flu. Oh, by the way, when they checked my blood pressure at the clinic, still elevated. Um, because at this point in time, like my body's constantly running this underlying fever that comes and goes. And I was telling the doctor like, the fever randomly hits at night, which is so crazy. Like I can be fine throughout the day. And it was like at a certain point at night, I could just feel like this heat just rushed through my body, um, primarily like in my neck and then just 
wherever else I wanted to go. I was like, what is happening to me? So my test results in regards to like COVID, the flu, all that came back negative. And the one thing that came back positive was strep throat. I was like, strep throat. I'm like, that means this is like the third or fourth time I've had strep throat. And this is the one time where my throat didn't bother me at all. The doctor's like, why didn't you come in? Why didn't you come in? I was like, I wasn't in pain. I was like, <laughs> I thought I only come to the doctor when I feel sick. So I believe the term is asymptomatic where you have the illness, but you don't have the the symptoms that are dominant and I associated like a sore throat or an inflamed throat uh, in correlation to strep but when she checked she was like yeah you've had this for a while and it's like okay um, so I'm like what do we do so she put me on some antibiotics uh, and told me like I need to take this for 10 days and this should flush it out of my system I took the antibiotics for 10 days. And after that, I still had like this un... My bad, my phone was going off. I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. I took the antibiotics for 10 days and I still had an underlying fever. And I was like, okay, I'm starting to get worried now. And I checked my blood pressure during those 10 days two times and it was still elevated. So it was like, I'm stressed, I'm sick, I'm fighting off toxins. Um, at certain points throughout the night, I was having like an irregular heartbeat. I'm like getting freaked out at this point because I'm like, uh, is it my time to go? Literally when you're not sure what's happening in your body, like your mind goes there. You're like, okay, I'm kind of worried. Uh, I'm in my thirties and uh, is it my time? Literally, these are my thoughts at night. Uh, bro, I'm so over just uh, not knowing like what's going on. But obviously, and of course, that's just a part of life, but I still would like to know more details than I was provided. And here it is five days later since I've taken my last antibiotic. And this morning, this is the best I have ever felt like i am so relieved and i still want to get more answers to what's going on but what freaked me out the most was like after i went through like the covid like symptoms flu like symptoms tested positive for strep throat my blood pressure is high my um uh my heartbeat was irregular at night like laying down i could just feel my heart like like just pump pushing through my chest and i was like this is not normal. So, um, the feeling that I have right now, I just feel like there's no more stress. And when I say that, I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like mentally I was thinking about stress, but I'm saying like my body's no longer under stress due to whatever illness or virus infection that I was suffering with. And you know, over the last few days, I've been able to talk to other people and they've been having like the same similar experience that they're testing negative on all of their test results and the doctors don't know what they have. And uh, I literally just got off the phone with a friend a few moments ago, my good friend, Mike, and he's like, I'm on day 10, day 11, and we're talking about our symptoms. We're both explaining the same thing, but all of his test work came back negative is so weird um so i'm curious to see what you think like is there a new virus going on and no one has noticed yet because i'm not a person who gets sick or if i get sick like it doesn't shut me down to that extreme the first time i had covid yeah uh the second time i had covid somewhat but this time, like I had no drive, like I, my body was just shutting down and I couldn't control it. So I'm just curious, like, do you think there's something going on that's being passed around that hasn't been discovered or noticed or confirmed by the medical uh, community? But uh, for me, I felt like this was something that I can't compare it to.
one because of how long it lasted but two like how hard it just hit my body and um maybe you guys have more ideas than me this is not like to be creating like some scare tactic or whatever because i'm not a fan of that whatsoever this is just my own personal experience that i'm sharing but uh leave in the comments if you know anybody who's had similar symptoms or issues <sighs> okay there was just a bug that just flew across the screen i don't know if you saw that but the reason why the bugs in the house is because I said I was gonna save this, but I just feel like now I have to explain. We're in the process of doing a remodel and they've been painting the last few days and we had to open up some of the doors to kind of let some of the, the, the paint just escape, like the scent of it. Um, if you ever got a paint high, like it's not a good feeling. So, all right, that's the only spoiler you get. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think about what I was dealing with the illness, the, the toxins, just, and maybe this is a sign of like all toxic energy is leaving my life going into the remaining portion of 2024. And if so, I'm okay with that because it's, it's out of the way early. Um, other than that, man, thank you for watching this video. This has just been a life update. Um, I appreciate you all. And we're gonna keep growing this channel day by day. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, light and love. Catch you guys.